listening to the Award Travel 101 Podcast. Helping you learn how to maximize your travel rewards, no matter your destination or budget. Now, here's your host, Joseph Petrovic. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another Weekend Review. My name is Award Travel 101 Community Manager Joseph Petrovic. I want to start out with a few stories through the week that caught my attention that I just wanted to share with you. And I'm going to start out with getting greater value from your ultimate rewards points purchasing Apple products. Now, if you have the Chase Sapphire Preferred, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, or even if you have a few of the Freedom or Ink cards, there are a couple of things that you can do to get greater value out of your points. Now, typically, we're not recommending using these to purchase things through travel portals or to use them on gift cards or merchandise. But in this case, it might make sense to get that greater value. For example, if you happen to have a Sapphire Reserve card, you can get 50% greater value out of your points. So if you had 100,000 points, you could purchase $1,500 worth of goods. So that might make sense for some of you. Another issue that came up and has been an issue over the past few weeks is that the Capital One travel portal was down, so you couldn't transfer your Capital One venture miles to any of the partners. Now, where that was a problem was they happened to launch a bonus offer, and it was a 30% transfer bonus offer to Virgin Red, which many of us would use for Virgin Atlantic, and you couldn't transfer that because the portal was down for whatever reason. That has been resolved. So if you want to find more information, go check out the link in the description. Another special offer out there, the Sapphire Reserve has increased the welcome bonus 20,000 points. Now, I love the Sapphire Reserve. Not everybody is a super fan of the card. Um, I'm actually an authorized user on my wife's card because at the time I could not obtain the card. I was over 524. But the Sapphire Reserve gives you a $300 travel credit. It gives you lounge access, including priority pass restaurants. And that, for me, in my home airport, gives me a ton of value because I always stop at the airport restaurant, catch breakfast, catch lunch, catch dinner. I can do that whether I'm departing or arriving. So having that extra meal before I come home or before I jump on a flight really helps out st saving off that hunger before you're getting on a flight, especially if you're not flying first class. And even if you're flying in first class, sometimes the food isn't that great so I can get a better meal using this. And of course, I love transferring my ultimate rewards points over to Hyatt, and that gives me generally much greater value than the one cent per point, or in, even in the case of the 50% uh, bonus that you get on your points, which would say that th these points are worth no less than $1,200 when you travel. I'm typically seeing multiples of that. So 80,000 points can take you pretty far. Next, Marriott Bonvoy ends conversion bonus to three airline partners. So long, farewell, goodbye, American, Delta, and Avianca Life Miles. So for those of you who may not have been familiar, Marriott Bonvoy transfers points. They have a... 60,000 point transfer to 20,000 point airline miles. But one of the things that was so unique, they have over 40 uh, different transfer partners and you could actually get a 25% bonus. So on American Airlines, if you transferred 60,000 Bonvoy points, you would get 20,000 American miles and that 25% more. So you'd actually get 25,000 miles all total. That is ending and it's coming to an end very soon here at the end of this month. So if you're looking to 
transfer any points over to American, Delta, or Avianca Life Miles through Marriott Bonvoy, you need to get that done here within the next week. Another interesting thing that comes up, and people always ask, how do you earn mo more miles? How do you earn more points? And I'm going to do a special episode of that here soon. But the shopping portal experience can really pump up your earnings. They can earn you fat stacks of miles and points. As former partner Tony Perkins Southam used to say, you can earn so many miles off of these. And one of the things that I have really enjoyed is getting to know Simply Miles. And you can earn those from your everyday purchases. And those not only count towards earning miles, but if you're looking to obtain status from American, you can earn status with your earnings from Simply Miles purchases. You happen to earn 20,000 Advantage Miles. You just earned 20,000 loyalty points towards status. And the different status levels, you can hit 30,000 for gold status. You can get 75,000 for platinum status. You can get 125,000 for platinum pro status and 200,000 loyalty points for executive platinum status, which will give you a whole host of benefits from upgrades to uh, main cabin extra to other little th perks and benefits that could be advantageous to you as the traveler and miles and points collector. Speaking of American Advantage, there is a new status matching program. In other words, it's a, actually a status challenge. Now, the full details of this program have not come out in full yet. We have only been giving the starting phase. And the starting phase is that you have four months to earn one third of the points to get the status you wish. Now, that assumes you are targeted. So not everyone will be targeted, but if you are, you can actually bump up your status. So maybe you're only targeted for gold status, but if you earn the 67,000 loyalty points in your first four months, you can get executive platinum status. And this is something I'm actually thinking of if this is still around in a few months to do for my wife, because we have a lot of American flights that this could benefit us and our family. So go ahead and find out more about this. You can check out the article in the description below. And finally, for the week, to, as we head into Halloween, I have an interesting story uh, to share of eight haunted hotels you can book with points. And you can read more about that in the uh, link in the description. As always, I want to thank everyone for joining us in the Award Travel 101 Facebook community. I want to thank you for watching here in YouTube and hope to see you there. Take care. Good day.